Brett Loadsman, the van man, sponsored driver, car number 33, does an excellent job, operates on a low budget, races week in, week out. Troy Little on the outside of the front row. Gary Brazier, four times and reigning national champion, outside second row. You'd have to expect him to get a move on very quickly here. His father, Steve, one of the all-time greats of this sport, two times national champion. One of the all-time greats we've already heard from this evening, with Sid Hopping talking to Farron Hoffman. Hopping, one of the great drivers, and the man that built this venue back in 1978. There's Kelly Lennigan. She had a nasty spill last night down the front straightaway. Here we go. It's blast off time, but the sprint car scramble as they charge through the first couple of corners. What a start by Troy Little on the outside. I thought Loadsman would lead down the back straight the first time. I couldn't have been more incorrect. There's Loadsman in second. He's got a problem. It's called Gary Brazier. He runs third on the outside, making good progress. There is a car off the racetrack, though, on the back straight. It's Kelly Linnigan. We've got amber caution lights, gentlemen. Yep. You kill your momentum, so to speak. You just, you got to be pumped up every night. That in-car vision we saw from Stephen Bell's machine prior to the last commercial break really reflected that. Loadsman got a better start this time, but once again, Troy Little uses all of the racetrack and races bar on the outside. Loadsman will try to stay with Brazier. him. Gary Brazier's looped at the national champion. On turn number three, he has spun. On turn number three... Here we go. Restart number three. Troy Little has been very good so far, starting from the outside. We'll try and keep an eye on Brazier for you. At the back of the pack, away we go. No, starter not happy with that. Amber lights on. I think they're suggesting that Lozman went a little prematurely in the Van Man car. Ten cars out there, ten laps. This is the D scramble to determine starting positions in the D main later on tonight's program. Lozman got a better start that time. Arthur Cowan waving the green flag. Jump jet, they call him in the industry. Leading down the back straight. Little is second. Looking for Gary Brazier, he's passed two cars already, I can tell you, the national champion. Running seventh or eighth on the circuit, nine laps to go. These track conditions are fantastic for good racing too. The, at the moment, they're a little bit on the bottom of the track, but even through these next couple of heats, we'll see him starting to move up there as we see Troy Little pulling the front wheels off the ground, coming out of turn four. Yeah, it's going to get stickier and stickier for a while before it starts going dry. Clay Lannery is third in car number 88. Gary Brazier. Is up, running fifth on the circuit, so he's passed plenty of cars already. We'll get a shot of him for you in a moment. Now, I'm not sure how it works over here, but back in America, you go by your starting position for your passing points. So when he went to the tail, he's got to go all the way through. He's not getting passing points for all these cars he's passing right now, or at least in the States, that's the way to do it, until he gets back to his original starting position. Good battle here. Loadsman up front, car number 33, there's the national champ Brazier, he is absolutely flying after being forced to restart at the back of the pack, he moves up one more spot, so now Brazier is fourth on the circuit, this has been Sun Drive from position number 10, meet time, we're focusing on the battle up front though, Loadsman the leader, Little is second, Lannery is third, four laps remaining. Four laps to go now, as Loadsman looks like he's doing a good job out in front, Troy Little starting to make a little bit of ground on him now. As you see, Lozman's front wing started to collapse on that car. Lozman's front wing is collapsing all right. That's why Little is crawling all over him. A few to go. Little makes a mistake running onto the back section. Lannery is still third. Gary Brazier is about to move up to fourth on the circuit. What a drive this has been. Lozman has a real handful at the moment in that van man car you're looking at. The front wing is collapsing. It'll be handling like a nightmare. Yeah, that really hurts the aerodynamics of this car. Luckily, the wing's not flipped up. Uh, it's down in the left front corner, which is hurting him, but not near as bad as it would if the front end was up in the air. Lozman's still the leader. Look at the pressure being applied by Troy Little. Will he pass on the outside? He's not real sure. Switches lines and comes back on the inside. Check it. Flag is poised. Lozman got there. Dramatic finish in the end. The van man driver got there. Little was second. Lannery third. Brazier fourth. What a drive by the national champion who was passing cars at the rate of knots. There it is for you, bottom of screen. That's been a big performance. How hard was that final few laps with the front wing like that? Oh, it's a handful. Uh, these cars are a handful when everything's right, let alone with the no with the nose wing knocked off like that. Did a very good job to, to hang on to that position there. And that'll be very important for his points for later in the night as they work out. Just get this good shot here of the cars running right on the edge there between the dry stuff and the, and the real sticky stuff on the top there. Yeah, the cushion, as we call it in Speedway, is developing. You can see the dark racing strip about mid-track up. That's the soft, spongy clay that's been thrown from the low part of the circuit. 
That'll provide plenty of drive for those uh, brave enough to, to venture up there. Boy, and the racetrack is where they're running is drying out dramatically right now. Uh, especially down in turns three and four. It's actually what we start to call starting a little slick, dry slick. Good shot at the front wing collapse on the Brett Loadsman. Van Man squirt in the dirt car. Brett runs a, a driving school called Squirt in the Dirt, aptly named. And, uh, well, anybody can go along and drive a sprint car for some fun. All on your own, though. Not in race trip. She's got the winner there with her Brett Loadsman. Shelley, take it away. Brett, well, that was fantastic work. Oh, it was pretty hard work. I broke the front wing at, in the first race, and the top wing here, she broke off too, so a uh, pretty wild rider there for a while. Tough one to keep it on the track. It was obviously a very slow start to that race too. Yeah, we had a few false starts. That makes you sort of a bit cautious and stuff, but once we got going, I was all right. I, I got out in front, and I thought, well, they have got to be a good car to pick me back from here, especially with Australia 1 in the, in the field. So what does this mean for you now? You've upped your points, obviously. Yeah, I got a few more points. Last night I was terrible, so... Uh, in the D, that's, you know, A's the best, B's second, so D's pretty bad for our standards. So we go to the back of the D, mate, the D main now, and we've got to progress forward through the pack. You know, but, you know, I'm glad for my sponsors and stuff out there, the Van Man, DJ Plan, I, Adam's Tavern. Please for everybody. Well, last night was obviously a tough night for everybody, but you're on the move tonight. Yeah, we're, we're on the move tonight. Can I say hello to my young daughter at home watching Paige? Hello. 